Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video is another makeup video and my last video for February because it's basically March. Can you even believe three months have gone? I don't even know where it's gone to but I feel like I'm gonna look again and it's December and then I'm gonna look back and be like what did I do with my life? I'm like dumbstruck. So I'm just gonna jump right into the video. I don't actually know what I'm gonna film today. I think I've just got a few goodies next to me and let's play around and see what happens. So I do have some serum on my skin um, today only because my skin's just been so dry lately. So I do have a little bit of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair on my skin. I know that it says Night Repair but I do use this like under my foundation sometimes. Sometimes I actually mix this in with my foundation just like a drop and then it just makes it like extra luxurious. I have no idea why my skin is this dehydrated. Hopefully it just comes back to normal but for now yeah I'm just kind of layering this bad boy on my skin. To prime my skin I'm going to use the Urban Decay Quick Fix and it looks like that. There is another one called the B6 which is also very good um, but I'm going to use this one today. I'm going to spray a little bit of that on my face. Never get tired of the smell. It's like fresh coconut. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my all-time number one favorite foundation. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I haven't used this foundation in such a long time, but I got a fresh bottle yesterday. Um, and I'm just hoping that I'm still the same shade. <laughs> so it's in the color Rattan. And... I'm so excited to wear this. For me, this is like the staple. This is the biggest staple I think any woman can have in their makeup kit. It's like not having peanut butter in your house. Like you've got to own peanut butter. This is my peanut butter. Is it like the best way to, to describe it? Probably not, but no. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my the back of my hand. Guys, this may be a bit too light for me because like I said... I haven't used it in like the longest time, but let's, let's see how it goes. Ooh, Ooh I think that's not my shade. <laughs> Ooh, that looks very light. <laughs> So I was at the beach this past weekend and I just realized that I got a little bit darker than I usually am and I tried out using the foundation that I wanted to use today which was the Estee Lauder Double Wear and it just was way too light for my skin. Yeah, now I've got to use a darker foundation and the only dark foundation I have for my skin are the MAC Studio Scalp Foundation and the Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation. Alright, so here goes. <laughs> Yes, this is way better. Shame the other foundation that I put on was like way too light. This one may also just be a tad bit too light or like kind of ashy, but it should work. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Okay, I think I can work with this, you guys. Let's see how it goes. I've actually mixed the two together. These foundations are quite thick, so I'm just spraying some Fix Plus onto my beauty blender and then that'll just hopefully help with application. I didn't think this through. I didn't think that I was going to get that dark. I was literally in the sun for like two hours. Well, yeah, for like two hours and I was wearing a hat, so anyways. What are you gonna do? All right, so I think this foundation could work just for the look that I want to create today <sighs> Okay for concealer, I'm going to use the wet n wild photo focus concealer and this is in the shade light medium beige I just want to point out something that they are cruelty free. How cute is that? I love when um, Brands do this on their packaging because it means so much. I just think it's very thoughtful. Thank you. 
This has probably got to be the darkest I've ever been because nothing is working for my skin today. Um, <laughs> but I think I'm just going to bronze my skin and hopefully it's going to save me. Look at this. Look, look at this color. And look at... No. What am I even doing? For bronzer, I'm just going to use Max Give Me Sun. So hopefully it's going to save this entire makeup look. So I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and start bronzing my skin. All right, so this is already starting to look a lot better. I'm just using a big fluffy brush so that nothing's like too carved out. I just want like a light bronze on the skin, so nothing too contour-y, even though I like a good contour. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna blend that out softly so that it blends quite nicely into the skin. So I'm just going to go in with the same bronzer and just contour my nose a little bit. And bronzer saves the day. I'm so happy. So it's time for brows. I'm just going to quickly do them off camera and then I'll be back. All right, brows are done. So my concealer's dried a little bit onto my foundation. So I'm just going to set it with some loose powder. So the first shade I'm going to use is from the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade over here. And I'm just going to take that color all the way to the very inner corner as well. Alright, so I'm going to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. And I'm going to go in with the shade over here. I love how pigmented these shadows are. And then just to intensify the outer corners of my eye, I'm going to use the darkest shade in the palette, and it is this one over here. Alright, and then to create the cut crease, I'm going to go back in with the Wet n Wild Concealer and then just use a very small detailer brush. This one is from Real Techniques. I mean, you can use any small um, concealer brush just so that it's, it's going to give you something precise. So for my lid color, I'm going to be using the very pretty bronzy pinky shimmer shade that's in the palette. And I'm just going to be using a flat shader brush and I'm just going to weight it with some Fix Plus. The Fix Plus just makes such a big difference. It just turns a normal shimmer shadow into like a foiled shadow so it just stands out a lot more and just makes your eyes look even more 
All right, so I'm going to go back in with the darker shade in the palette, which is this one over here. And I'm just going to go over the borders of the shimmer and the matte, just so that they blend in a lot better together. So I'm just going to go in and intensify the corners just a little bit more, just using the darker shade. Okay, and then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade over here. And I'm just going to add some of that underneath my lower lash line. And then to highlight the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use this very pretty gold that's in the palette. So I'm going to add a winged liner to this look as well, and I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Black. Alright, and then for mascara, I'm going to use the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. I'm just going to finish off the skin very quickly and then move on to my lips and then this look is all done. So moving on to blush, I'm going to use the Dallas Blush by Benefit and it's a very pretty neutral shade blush. I'm just going to add some of that to the apples of my cheeks and then just work it up into the bronzer now for my favorite part i'm going to be using the mega glow highlighting powder by wet n wild and this is in the shade precious petals oh let's open this up oh it's so pretty you guys oh look at that i don't even want to use it it's so pretty what are you saying of course i want to use it This highlighter is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit because if I don't, I'm just gonna look so crazy. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Like it goes on quite intense, but if you blend it out, it just softens so much, which is very nice. All right, I'm gonna use the same highlighter and just highlight underneath my brow bone over here. Okay, moving on to lips, I'm going to use the NYX Retractable Lip Liner, and it's in the shade Sand Beige. Then I'm going to use the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics and it's in the shade Everything Nice. I actually don't like this lip color. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh no, what did I do? Okay, yeah, I'm just going to try and take it off. Oh. Okay, so I changed my mind about the lipstick. <laughs> I think I'm just going to use a different shade. Um, this is also by Gerard Cosmetics, and it's in the shade 1995. And I think this is going to be the one. Yes. Just to create a little bit of an ombre effect, I love doing this. I'm going to use the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Thrill. I 
So I'm just going to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just so that my makeup can stay on all day. Oh, that rhymed. Okay guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. This for me is like glam. This is not something I would wear every day. I absolutely love this look so, so much. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.